Hi everyone! So today I thought I would bring out Honey because Honey is for sale. Um, she is on my Etsy site at bellbeanreborns.com. I'm selling her for $200 uh, plus shipping. But I thought maybe I would bring her back out and show you guys today and put her in a different outfit because these would be, this would be one of the outfits she would be going home with. And then I have another outfit that she would be going home with and I thought let's change her into that one because she's been in this one for quite a while. So I thought we'd give her a little bit of changing. But if anybody's interested, just go to my Etsy and then search BellabeanReborns.com and you can find her out there. So um, $200 for this baby is very inexpensive. There's, if you go out there and look and see how much a reborn costs, they're ridiculous prices, and I thought I would reduce her um, to $200, and I think that's pretty, pretty good pricing. So if anybody's interested, get on to Bella Bean Reborn. She is the last one I have out there. Um, I sold Ashley uh, a couple days ago, and she was out there with Ashley, so she is next to leave. And I think she needs a new mommy or a new daddy. So uh, take a look at her and see what you think. I'm going to try to show her up close so you can see her little face. So she really is super cute. And I love her pinky cheeks. Really, really cute. And her eyes are beautiful blue. Can you see the shine on those eyes? Gorgeous. Now she's a zero to three month. So she's a little bit bigger than the newborn size. Which if it's zero to three clothes, three inch zero to three month clothes if I can talk right but I thought let's take a look at her and you can see what she looks like take off these clothes and you can kind of see a little bit of the blushing and you can see a lot of modeling in her legs and she's got some blushing up here sometimes they get that little rashy type up here by their diapers so she has a little bit rashing here and up on her leg here but a lot of modeling, really, really pretty modeling. And then her toes, I don't know if you can see her toes, but there's her toes. So um, she came out really, really cute. Uh, when I was making her and putting her and getting her all together, I was just loving on her because I think she was probably, oh, and there's her hair, you can see her hair. It's like, um, it's a brownish color. It has a little bit of wave to it in the front. She's got some wave to it. So um, when I was doing her coloring, I don't know, I just had to do something a little bit more different than I normally do. And I gave her a little bit more coloring. And I really, really like that. Um, I think she came out super cute. I love her lips. Her lips are, have that little baby color lips. Oh. So yeah, when I finished her, I really didn't want to sell her, but you know, I can't keep every doll I make. I have to sell. Uh, I do have some that are in my, um, you know, I have some collecting that I'm doing, and those ones are pretty much staying with me right now. But this is one that I have painted. In my collection, I have other people who have painted some dolls, and I like to do that to collect other people's work. Um, but this one I made on myself, and I'm so... Uh, happy how she turned out but I really hope she finds a mommy or daddy that can enjoy her as much as I loved painting her because she is super cute so I am putting her in this sweet little Carter's um, it's like a little sleeper um, and I started unbuttoning it already but it has all these flamingos on it and it's like a bright pink I think it's gonna look really good with her and her skin tone and really cute flamingos and then you turn it over and she's got the mama flamingo and the baby flamingo on her butt. So all these other ones are mommy and baby. And then she has the big one on her butt. So I'm going to put this on her real quick. And I'm going to keep her socks on. So she will come home with uh, the outfit that you've seen. She'll come home with this outfit. Um, I'll leave her socks on. She's got her onesie. She'll have a blanket. A few diapers, um, a pacifier, her headband. I'm trying to think of what other stuff I'm missing. Um, pretty much. I mean, it's not a 
Um, I can't think of what else if I'm missing anything. Pacifier, blankets, diapers, two outfits, um, headband. I'm trying to figure out what else. I think that's it. If I remember it, I'll add it. But um, this, this is a zero to uh, three months outfit here, and it looks like it's going to fit her fine. So if you're interested in a zero to three month reborn, I have honey for sale. But look, at this is really cute. I really like this outfit. <laughs> this is really cute. I'm going to try to. And of course, you know, I bought it from Carter's because I am, you know, in love with Carter's. So they have the really, really cute clothes and the prices are pretty good. So I like to keep with my Carter's. Once in a while, I'll go like to Target or Walmart or something, but um, usually I tend to keep with um, my Carter's. So, look, <laughs> that's cute. And, and you know, even though they're a little bit bigger and they feel bigger, I love babies. Like I said, if you look, watch my last video, I love babies when their clothes are bigger because you find it on a real baby. So if you're bringing home a real baby, those clothes are going to be huge. As they start getting older, they're going to be big on them. It's just how it works. It's like they've always had, uh, you know, they always have them. You don't have to have them big. I mean, you can make, buy them smaller, but... I think they just look more realistic when you have so much extra, um, you know, clothing on them. I think it looks more realistic. So, and this bow is not, this bow will come home with her, but it will be coming home with the other outfit, of course, because it was green. And I'm going to put, look at her, she's so cute just laying there. Here's the little white headband. I'm going to put that on her because she's got these uh, little flamingos are white. And sorry about that. That was my watch. If you heard that go off, that was my watch. But I'll put it up here so you can see her face a little bit. But yeah, isn't she cute? Look how cute she is in this. This is the first time I've had this one on her. Oh, she looks adorable. So here's another look at her face. And then there's her hands. She's got some really cute, I, I tipped out. I tried to give her some um, of the white parts in the bottoms of your fingers the, to, to make it look more realistic. She has that, and then her fingers are also tipped. So that's what her fingers look like. So yeah, she's really, really cute. She has painted hair, painted eyebrows. She has rooted eyelashes. And her lips, I don't know how what I did to her lips and how I got her lips this color, I can't remember. But I'm sure going to have to look at redoing my baby's lips because this is adorable. Her lips are so pretty. They're not like, they're just that hint of baby pink and super, super cute. I thought about piercing her ears, but I didn't want to do that until, if you know, if the mommy wants me to pierce them, I'll go ahead and pierce them. Um, that's not an issue, but I thought, well... She looks really cute without them, or she'll look cute with them. All depends on, you know, if the, if the mom or daddy wants to pierce her ears. I can do that. So, anyways, guys, this is Miss Honey. Say, take me home. I need a mommy or daddy. So, anyways, guys, I just wanted to give her a changing because she's been in those clothes for a long time. I wanted to do something a little bit different and give her different clothing, and I love her in this sleeper. So anyways, guys, I'm going to let you go. I hope you are doing great with whatever you are doing. You all staying safe. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And that's about it. So don't forget to check out Honey on Etsy, BellaBeamReborns.com. Take care all. I will see you in my next video. Bye.